Hello and good afternoon everybody. Welcome to AJ Katz and Solda webinar automated Ahoo family creation in Revit. So first of all I would like to ask you to raise your hands uh, if you can see my screen and if you can hear me. So you can do that on the go to webinar dialog block. Okay, I see some of you have raised your hands, so thank you for that. And um, today with you are two specialists. So one is Romanus Rokinas, he's se senior software designer and head of uh, uh, of the Ventmaster team, and uh, Jakub Sveishvila, uh, MEP engineer and BIM application engineer from AJCAT company. Uh, so basically. Uh, basically, what we do is uh, we are creating creating BIM together. We are building BIM together, so we create solutions for continuously BIM acceleration based on on the experience of the most advanced users. And today, you will see how Agacat collaborated together with uh, Solda company and uh, how they created uh, a great solution for Revit. So, uh, some sentences about uh, about Solda. Ramones, please. Solda is manufacturer and developer of ear handling equipment for more than 25 years and corresponding member of Eurovent Association. We offer a wide range of ear handling products, modular ear handling units, hygienic ear handling units, compact units, residential units and fans. New products are developed and tested in a cooperation with to SUD and Seventa Laboratories. They are also certified by Eurovent or Passive House Institute correspondingly. Thank you. So uh, basically we are saying that uh, we are reducing BIM stress. So we are eliminating some tasks from the BIM workflows and um, and our tool that we have created can create a family of uh, ear handling units straight to Revit uh, from the selection uh, software. So uh, in this webinar, you will see how how you can select uh, how you can select a who unit uh, in Ventmaster software. Uh, as well, you'll see how to insert selected ear handling unit to Autodesk Revit as a Revit family. Uh, as well, uh, we will review. Uh, all the transfer parameters uh, and the geometry of that uh, of that unit, and uh, we'll show how to update uh, how to update the model. Um, so basically, the the idea of this webinar will be um, based on two sides. Well, one side is Ventmaster uh, software to to choose your needed equipment, and the other side is uh, on the on the Revit side. So what's going on there? You will see the geometry and and the parameters that came from from the Ventmaster software. So I don't want to speak about this literally. So I just want to go to my Revit and uh, and show everything live. So basically. I will work on this kind of project. Uh, I have this kind of project. I have a ventilation system, and uh, the ventilation system is is quite quite uh, nice. It has some flows, pressure drops, etc. Uh, so to get started uh, with, uh, with the tool of uh, Ventmaster uh, Revit plugin, uh, you have to go to uh, www.solda.lt and you will be lead to such a, such a web page. So you have to go to the products and to the downloads. Here you will find all your needed information and all needed installation uh, of the software. So here you can find Ventmaster uh, V5 for Revit 2016 as well for Revit 2017 and all the ins installation guides could be downloaded from here. After you will do uh, the installation, the tool will instantly appear in your Revit and it will be called Ventmaster Importer. So at the very beginning, well, what we have to do is to check what kind of uh, of the flows, here flows, do we have in our project. And afterwards, we just open a Ventmaster software. We create a project. Um, 
let it be test. You choose the uh, the unit type. Uh, I mean, you can choose from air extract unit, uh, maybe air supply unit, heat recovery unit with rotor, uh, plate heat exchanger, or heat recovery unit with uh, heat recovery coil. So I choose this one, and uh, I want to ask Romanus um, to say some words about uh, about about this software and how it is working and show some examples for for all of you so I'm making Roman a presenter so he can he can follow so hello again here we have uh, air handling unit uh, so with uh, hygienic level one for office building and uh, I made some pre-selection before uh, so we must to check that we have a correct airflow. Uh, here it is uh, 10,000 cubic meters per hour. Uh, by selecting every section, uh, we just uh, we can change uh, options. Let's say of uh, filters of uh, water heater and for everyone, every other component. So when we selected uh, what we want, we just press button to calculate our air handling unit. And uh, when air handling unit is calculated, we will see that uh, message box with calculated text appears. And then we, will, we go to File, Export, and press export to Revit menu button. After that, it shows done. Jokubas, continue. Thank you, Romanes. Uh, let's go further. So after after you choose your needed ear handling unit, uh, the next step is to insert your uh, your selected unit to Revit. So we have a button uh, in Revit add-in that is called Ventmaster Imported importer we have insert ahu so it will allow you to browse your computer so you can find any of these objects on your uh, on your computer um, so I'm going to take one of them I'm opening it and uh, it is inserted into our Revit just a few seconds to generate the object Yes, yeah, so uh, the message appears that uh, we have one uh, one family successfully loaded to the project, and I will place it uh, on the rooftop, so we can we can explore uh, what, what what is this and uh, how it is made. So this is a family. Let's go to the family uh, tab and let's see how it is created. So this is Ahu family that is created from uh, from all the sections of the air handling unit as well it is created as uh, as one object to show all uh, all the information on on the sides of, of the element as well this element owns all the needed information for engineers uh, so we have uh, a dimensioning information we have electrical information we have sound information as well we have uh, mechanical flow information. If we'll scroll down a bit, you'll find some information about the company that is providing uh, providing the product. As well, you'll find some uh, some stuff uh, like uh, like the weight of uh, of your product, or as the example, energy class. So this is really good because all the parameters could be scheduled, all the parameters could be tagged, etc., etc. So let's go back to the project and let's see how we can adopt this family to our project. So I'm going to the plan eight, which is rooftop plan, and I have uh, two ventilation uh, ducts over there. I just use align buttons to align my air handling units to be in, in place where it needs to be and I just drag my pipes or sorry the ducts to, to my needed place. As you can see it changed the color because uh, it corresponds to, to a needed system right now. Let's go to the section view and check how does it look like from here. So we have this 
elements and we have this one so I just uh, drag drag uh, this point the element and you can see that we have connected air handling unit that contains all needed information like supply air uh, return air exhaust air as well all the type parameters uh, that I showed you in a family afterwards you just need to, to make some extra uh, extra duct work from it uh, if it's needed and and that is all so I just pick the duct uh, rectangular one okay round one and I just draw uh, to another side so uh, so I have really nicely connected uh, connected uh, element uh, one more thing what about if we if we change some uh, ear flows in our system let it be uh, let's add 1000 of cubic meters just just for uh, to make a good idea for you so everything was recalculated in Revit in, in a duct so we have uh, different airflows right now so we need uh, as you can see here we need to update our model because uh, it still have something bad here so we just click update button and we choose the family and uh, the vent master software is opening again and it knows all uh, the parameters uh, from from the from the project that was created before so uh, Ramanas could you could you lead uh, my idea further please okay so we've got comment from Revit to update uh, air handling unit so we have uh, that air handling unit must have 11,000 airflow qubit cubic meters per hour so change that value and uh, we make we make calculations again uh, program will choose according to those values components inside your handling unit and uh, when calculations are made we see that uh, our handling unit complies with echo design requirements and uh, everything is okay so we are doing uh, export again to the Revit of uh, this hygienic first level air handling unit so after that Yokubas please continue Thank you, Ramana. So after that, I just uh, go and uh, take uh, take the family that Ramana sent to me, and let's take a look at this uh, this object at ear handling unit. So it will be automatically updated in accordance to uh, to all new parameters that was uh, that was made uh, made in uh, uh, Ventmaster software. So we, we have a bigger element, uh, still we have the connection in between the duct and, and the element and uh, all the parameters are changed in accordance. So that's the main idea of, of the software. So as I mentioned in, in the beginning of, uh, of this presentation, uh, the software has different ear handling units to choose. The software has inner calculations and now it has Revit uh, accessibility so it's really a brilliant tool uh, in your everyday uh, in, in your everyday life and in, in your everyday works so uh, right now I just want to mention uh, I just want to mention that uh, live demo is over and uh, we are waiting for your questions so you can write all the questions in uh, go to webinar dialogue and uh, we'll try to answer and during this uh, short time I want just to uh, quickly run some, so, some topics uh, uh, so as, as the AJCAD is a widest uh, range of application for Revit developers so we have lots of tools for MEP engineers uh, for structural engineers for architects and for ME, uh, for BIM managers so you can find all the tools and uh, on, on our web page and by the way uh, we have thank you for BIMing with us uh, Christmas promo now uh, it's 50 percent offer for you so just visit our web page and uh, I don't know maybe maybe you'll find something interesting for you uh, you know they 
Okay, Selda has uh, new outstanding products which will boost your products. The first one is fully customized rotor heat pump section which performs four functions, cooling, heating, heat recovery and control. So four functions in one unit. Next one. Uh, we are proud to announce to be the first company who has developed and manufactured Eurovent Certificate Hygienic Air Handling Unit. You can select Hygienic 1 unit for schools, office buildings, hotels or Hygienic 2 for hospitals. Eurovent Hygienic outruns previously German VDI 6022 standard because it's applicable in all member states, precise specifications for example, requirements for internal components or service section sizes, Eurovent annual audits and certification. Next one. Next year we'll release new compact air handling units. Units will own multiple combinations and Eurovent certificate as usually model units have and in addition the shortest delivery term, two weeks. Other exceptional feature is our SW50 plus casing for horizontal and vertical versions. The best casing of compact units in the market at the moment. For more technical data please check our website. Thank you for your attention.